the first thing that we're going to do is set up our named credentials. Um, before we can do that, we have to go to it. So you search for named credentials in the um, setup box, and then, but as you can see, there's named credentials and external credentials. So we're going to create a new external credential. Because you can't have a new named credential. You can do a new legacy one, but we're not doing legacy one. Because, as we know with legacy things, it will eventually become discontinued. And best practices always say that we should be using the newer version. Because the legacy side will be depreciated and no longer supported in a future release. So, we are going to make a new named credential, but as you can see, you can't make one without having an external credential for your authentication. So, first we make an external credential. And we are going to name it, oh, weather off, because that's what it is, right? Oof. I love when that happens all the time. Now, for our authentication, we are going to do custom because we are using an API key. And I will show you all how to set that part up. All right. And so as you can see, there's it's pretty pretty empty here. Um so, in order to set this up, you are going to create a principle, and that's essentially just a parameter where you can store your API key. I'm just going to name this Prin API key, just so I'm keeping track with everything, because it kind of gets a little um, scoopy-doopy. This principle is where the access for the permission set or profile, that's how your users will be able to use this. So if they don't have access to this principle, which is where our API key is going to be stored, then they will not be able to use whatever automation that you have set up where this external services that we're setting up now will be called out to. So we're just gonna name this API key and this API key is what you got when you signed up for Weather API. So I'm just going to go and get that. All right. Back with the value. And we're just going to save it. There's that. Okay, so remember what I said about how this isn't even active until or this isn't even able to be utilized until the proper permission set has been set up for it. So we are going to give access to this principle based off of the profile. So I'm just going to go to my profiles. And you can actually get to it from right here. So if you notice, you can go and add external credential principle access. So you go and you hit, you know, you, you, um, you want to edit it. And when you edit it, it opens up in classic view. So just, you know, simple pick list update type thing. Just kind of drag and drop it over to get access to it. All right, and then you're done. And now you can see that it's been added. But this is the wonky, older, weird layout from days of yesteryear, before my time. So we're going to go back over to our external. OK, so we're going to go on back to our named credentials. And we still need to finish configuring this. So I just want you to see now 
when you go into the principal, you can see who has access. Pretty neat. So now, how do we how do we send like what's the the connecting key right is going to be in the header this is important because this header is essentially what will be appended to your endpoint right so we are using an api key here so that key credential is going to be sent over to allow access into the weather API system. We have to name this based off of what their system takes. You'll see on the weather API website where it shows you the key parameter. And that is what, like that's, you wanted to keep that like style so that's why it's lowercase right and so this value is going to be the formula for where the key is being stored in this name credential in the parameter the header is like it's the it takes a very particular format, right? And you can see more about that format through the documentation. But essentially, this is required because it's saying, hey, you're going to go to the credential. I can't spell today. You're going to go to the credential. All right. And then what, 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 what credential are we going to, right? Where is this? being stored it's being stored in the weather off right and then what is it it's our key weather off dot so where is that key being stored in the credential weather off right this is our principle where we go get it from so in weather off it's saying hey get this api key that's how that works so now that you have this set up we can actually go and set up the named credential this is essentially where we're logging into so we're just going to name it weather api because that's what it is it's the name of their what's our url going to be this is our url the base url from the documentation doesn't have the https in it and while http is supported call outs with their api you can't do that in you you it has to be it has to be secure everything in salesforce needs to be secure so if you have the option to utilize https over http then please do all right you want to make sure it's enabled for callouts and then we're going to add our external credential we aren't going to generate an authorization header because we are supplying that so we need to be able to allow formulas, that formula that we just created that shows us where our key goes, that needs to be able to be there. So that's why we have to click this. And you hit save. And now your named credential has been configured.